Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game four between Artosis and Hawk. Artosis starting the upper left hand corner as the pink Terran. Three o'clock location, we have Hawk starting as the red Zerg. Turn rate is high. Which I actually expected to uh, affect Hawk more than it was going to affect Artosis. Just because Mutalus Micro tends to be a big factor in lag conditions. Monopoly, a three player isometric map, and has extra mineral piles out on the field. Hawk on the verge of winning the $50 prize. Artosis looking to stay alive in this theoretical... Now, if this wasn't BSL, there's potential for... Uh, and I guess technically you could say this is for the um, North American reigning champion, something along those lines, because Hawk, I think currently, definitively is... I mean, he won the North American qualifier, so I think we have to say he's the best player in North America. From that region. Quirk almost taking that title. But Hawk able to, to fell him. I'm going to give another shout out and reminder to check out BSL this weekend, by the way. The weekend after next, Hawk and Quirk will be playing. But I am definitely looking forward to Artosis' play in BSL 16. And I am going to unabashedly say that as far as I'm trying to draw some of that Artosis audience over to BSL viewership, because they are fantastic matches. Absolutely incredible matches. And I'm absolutely thrilled to see Artosis' participation down the line in the future. Hawk once again opening up for a 12 hatch. Extra high latency, unfortunately, this time. That is one aspect that I'm hoping will... As a tech person, it's actually something that drives me a little bit crazy. It's like we're seeing a quick refinery. Feels like there should be a solution for the ping, but I haven't figured it out yet, whether it's VPNs or anything. For show matches like this, so for, for the long, large distances where you can get like some low latency, if anybody's a worldwide network engineer, let me know. Now, Artosis with this quick gas, potentially, we could see another mech opener, and I'm really hoping to see that. Especially considering how effective that's been as far as just a straight up lead up against Hawk in previous matches. And it looks like we are in fact seeing a factory plopping down. One SCV remaining on gas. Potentially get that early vulture out. Spawning pool and gas. Up for Hawk as well. Natural expansion just coming online. We'll see if he's able to... He's got that Overlord along the corner. I think he's got to be suspicious with that 12 patch. Seeing a lack of SCVs moving out to go ahead and grab that natural expansion. So maybe he has wind or an idea that this will be a mech opener. Going ahead with the tech to layer. Four Zerglings produced. Curious if he's going to test that front door. Command center being built on the high ground. Probably going to wait for that vulture before... Feel safe enough to go ahead and take the rest of that tour, uh, rest of that territory. Single zergling, yeah, gonna go ahead and run forward. I think upon just seeing the single marine resistance, absolutely gonna know. And actually, I might even be able to get a run by, but it looks like it's gonna go ahead and back out. Something colony already on the way, so yeah, Hawk. Well aware of mech play, and I think this is wise for a number of reasons. It pushes Hawk away. From the standard meta with Medic Marine, where he's just brutally, brutally strong, as we've seen in this match thus far. Armory plopping down in the background. Machine Shop dropping down as well, which leads me to believe we're going to see more of kind of that mixed mech that we saw in game two. Vulture holding up short from the natural initial Vulture. Looks like it managed to get a Zergling kill, but nothing else is going to have to wait in a defensive slot. I actually like the choice to go mech on Monopoly as well because there are additional minerals in the main. Usually mech a little bit. It's a gas heavy build. You need to get that natural expansion up and running to really make it hum. But at the same time, it's not cheap on minerals either. So having that additional minerals as a lock security, definitely a boon. Spire, two thirds finished. Nartosis might 
need to get Goliath out in a hurry. Engineering bag flopping down because he's potentially going to have a lot of Mutalisks out in the field and in his face in short order. And thus far, it's just been uh, maybe he can use the Vultures as a distractionary tactic to try to keep the Mutalisks away from his main. But right now, I have not seen any anti-air outside of that lone Marine, which is hanging outside that natural expansion. And I hope we'll see if this is when the Goliaths are produced, if they end up with Charon Booster Upgrade to start. I believe that is the typical. But it's going to need additional turret coverage. Third hatchery in base for Hawk. Five Mulisks to take flight. This can be a tentative one way of dealing with mech as Zerg is to just keep the Goliath count permanently small by just assailing those Goliaths while they're in inferior numbers over and over and over again. Vulture diving in, able to get one shot on a drone, not able to get much else. Looks like it's actually only four Mutalisks grouping up, but still, if they can catch the Goliaths in smaller numbers, in inferior positions, they can do sufficient damage there. Vulture is hanging out to the bottom left-hand corner, could create some havoc right there. Looks like Hawk is exploring these spaces, using the Mutalists to go ahead and do forward scouting before dedicating that drone. Going to grab that 6 o'clock base. This Mutalist looks like it's going to find that. And now, this is the challenge for Artosis. He's got a lot of territory to cover and only four Goliaths right this second to deal with it. And he needs to make sure those Goliaths don't get too far away from any one turret or get positioned out. Otherwise, they can get picked off. Vulture able to sneak in and get some damage done. Zerglings are going to pull out. One Mutalist being dedicated to engage on that attack. Overlord is able to find that Overlord. Sorry. Goliath is able to find that Overlord over the wall. Force Hawk on the red. And being that this is now a macro brace, whenever you have mech versus Zerg, it is mass versus mass. Every Overlord counts. Artosis plopping down an additional factory and wisely opening up, taking some shots at that egg to open it up potentially. So you can get better unit filtering between the main and the natural moving across. Burrowed Zerglings. I love it when I see Burrow against this because it's just a little bit of that latent information. Because you know Science Vessel Count's going to be smaller. That gas has to be dedicated to mech units. And oftentimes there's a lack of commsat. As you can see, there's no commsat station because there's no academy because we didn't go Marine. So Hawk getting lots of information off these Burrowed Zerglings. Specifically the positioning. Target firing over the wall, able to pick off a Goliath right there. Artosis might be in trouble. This is three sunk colonies and Mutalisks at his back. Looks like upon seeing those three sunk colonies, going to go ahead and draw back. And he needs to get back to his base in a hurry because there's not... These Mutalisks, if they, yeah, make a dash back to the main, there's only a single turret to defend and these Goliaths have a huge amount of territory to cover to get back to defend here. Turret goes down. Hawk able to get on top of the SCVs. Gas is no longer mining at the main for Artosis. Three Goliaths look like they're going to get pinned back and wiped out. Finally, the rest of that Goliath force filtering in, but they are coming in single file. Charm booster upgrade is there. So Hawk able to get some good damage done. Now going to exit and take minimal damage. Six o'clock base is starting to mine for him. No gas there as of yet. Transferring drones to that location. His economy humming. Supply count just about even. Second Zerg egg being wiped out. Siege tanks joining the fray with the Goliaths. Hawk still testing that back line. Mutalists actually in large flocks at both locations with plus one weapons. Looks like they might want to might go for a two pronged attack here. Pin Artosis at both locations. So SCVs being wiped out at the natural expansion. The Goliaths filtering back out. Hawk still has the Mutalisks along that back edge. Is waiting for the Goliaths to appear here at the natural. Goliaths appearing now. Is he going to move in? Yeah, now moving in with his secondary attack force to go ahead and assault the main. Picking off a turret again. Two turrets. And once again, halting that precious gas production. 
on top of the additional gas kills and again minimal damage on the mutalisks so these mutalisks took a pretty big pounding but the rest of the mutalisks able to just dive in and pop right back out so hawk getting good value let's see if he reinforces this grouping of mutalisks looks like yeah he's going to reinforce it with another good amount of mutalisks and proceed once again really abusing the immobile the immobility of goliath Artosis trying to grab a commsat station to try to get eyes, but I'm not sure that it would matter if he saw these mules coming one direction or another. Does have sufficient Goliaths to go ahead and split this attack force now. Hold position right there. Hawk might want to give up on this effort. He's actually down 20 supply right at this stage. Dedicating a lot of micro, it looks like, to these mutalisks. Still able to get to pick off and halt that gas production. Incredible. Additional hatchery being planted. Yeah, moving back into the main, this time not finding an empty force, loses two mules for his efforts, but grabbing another base in the bottom left. Does have a third gas up here at the 6 o'clock, but is not mining out of it. And critically, hasn't... He's still on lair. No motions towards Hive. He's filtering in some Hydralisks. I'm going to... I'm just going to assume he has Lurker Tech, if he wants it. 91 supply to 107. Level 2 weapons is not that far away. Artosa is going to bring some SEVs with him. Now, Hawk did pretty decent damage there. And critically was able to slow down that gas supply. Zergling still spotting absolutely everything. Seeing that army move out is going to dedicate with this attack force on Artosis' main. Artosis just plopped down a huge amount of turrets behind this, though. So Hawk just losing some Mutalisk HP for his efforts. Artosis just marching forward, losing several units, and now might get boxed into his natural expansion. So Hydralis drawing out potentially for a pincer attack down the line. Siege tank sieging up to go ahead and slowly carve through that natural expansion and provide additional support. Huge slew of Goliaths. It looks like at least three control groups, if not more, at the natural. And again, Hawk showing struggles. Diving in with... So filtering that army out looks like he wants to go for a counterattack and potentially a base race situation against Artosis. He would win a base race. Diving in with Mutalisks and Hydralisks to that natural. SCV's pulling back. And Artosis diving in. Now keep in mind, you've got the expansion's bottom left-hand corner. But Mech can chew through things rather rapidly. Natural expansion's gone. Mutalisks diving and attacking everything. SCVs trying to grab what few resources they can from that edge. They're getting wiped out. Along the corner, Goliath up on the high ground. Artosis still has decent supply to go ahead and reinforce here. He needs to get a move on, though. Sutton Colony being dropped everywhere in Hawk's base to try to stymie the efforts of this Mech. SCVs pulling off the line, battling the Hydralisks back, trying to slow them down. Still turrets behind this. Artosis having trouble making his way up. So many Sutton Colonies really thinning out these Goliaths force, and Goliaths are not intelligent units. They can, you can see how difficult it is for them to get up the ramps. In the meantime, the Mutalists are actually pulling back to engage the forces as the Hydralisks are taking out the factories. And it looks like the Goliaths are going to go ahead and retreat to try to group up at the turrets to engage those Mutalisks. Artosis losing his factory line and is going to GG there. Game three goes to Hawk and he takes the series. Great match between these two. The finale I was hoping for. An intense one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow both of these guys if you hadn't. And of course, Zero. For BSL 15 action, we are in the round of 12 there. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you for listening.